dear students i will continue the problems on consistency verification on the system of linear equations in my previous uh, discussion we had taken one problem on uh, the uh, ranks of uh, coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix were same and uh, the number of unknowns were equal to the rank of the matrix so that uh, there was uh, an unique solution which we calculated and uh, other three cases or four cases uh, which we will have to discuss in the uh, present lecture. <clears throat> the next problem which I am going to select is the solution which is giving uh, of, uh, different ranks for the coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix and uh, the solution will not exist that is one case and in another case uh, rank is same but number of unknowns or uh, more than the uh, the value of the rank that means order of the rank then solution will be infinitely many uh, cases we find and other uh, different varieties of problems uh, we will consider after completing that third case now i shall take one uh, different example on this uh, consistency verification the problem is like this test for consistency and solve x plus y plus z <coughs> equal to minus 3 3x plus y minus 2z is equal to minus 2 and x plus 4y plus 7z equal to 7. So as usual the comp compulsory steps we have to write first of all the matrix equation and then matrix form of the representation as cohesion matrix <coughs> column matrix for the unknowns and then column matrix for the constants. Afterwards uh, we will find the rank using elementary row operation technique then finally what value of rank we are going to collect for the coefficient matrix and also for the augmented matrix let ax plus b <coughs> ax plus uh, sorry ax equal to b uh, be the matrix equation accordingly we will select from all the three given equations 1, 3, 1 coefficients of x and coefficients of y 1 uh, that is 1 and this is 4 and coefficients of z 1 it is minus 2 and 7 <coughs> then x, y and z right side this should be minus 3 minus 2 and 7. This is uh, <coughs> the matrix form of the equation. This represents coefficient matrix that is A. This represents capital X and this represents capital B that means constants. Now we will apply the row operation assuming that this column is introduced or inserted inside the coefficient matrix that is called augmented matrix. Now these two elements I will convert them as 0 using this pivotal element. So pivotal element should be non-zero that is called leading element always it should be non-zero number it is coincidentally it is non-zero so I will take the help of this. Now this is 3 is there I will make it as minus 3 with this previous row I will multiply that is R1 plus R2 effecting on R2 this is one case and between R1 and R2 R1 R2 and then R3 <coughs> this is between R1 and R2 now between R1 and R3 that is minus of R1 plus R3 that is going to affect on R3 now so with this it is equivalent to the first row remains to be same that is 1, 1, 1 and second is x, y, z that is equal to minus 3, 
will be the same and here it is 0 as per the calculation which we proposed and minus 3 r1 plus r2 between these two should be minus 2 between these two minus 3 r1 that is minus of 5 because minus 3 minus 2 that goes for addition. Now minus 3, 3 3 is a 9 with plus sign that is 2 this is plus 7 and next one is between this this is made as 0 because we targeted this as 0 and uh, between these two that is minus r1 and plus of r3 minus r1 means this becomes plus 3 because minus 1 plus 4 it happens and minus r1 plus r3 so minus r1 means this is 1 minus r1 is uh, minus 1 and then it is plus 6 so minus r1 plus r3 now minus r1 means this is plus 3 that becomes 10 the uh, first chance is over that means first uh, stage of operation from <coughs> top to bottom is over top to bottom is over means first choice r1 on r2 r1 on r3 this is the procedure this is the next part we have to take the pivotal element uh, as minus 2 this is non-zero number this is PE and then we have to operate on 3 to make this element as 0. Therefore, uh, here we have taken the multiplication to the previous one that should be 3 divided by 2 uh, keeping that minus sign there itself 2 is to be removed and 3 is to be brought here and uh, this is R2 and plus of R3. This gives the effect on R3 only. Then this is equal to equivalent to I can write 1 1 1 0 it is minus 2 minus 5 and x y z that is equal to minus 3 7 and uh, between these two that is 3 by 2 r 2 plus of r 3. So 3 by 2 r 2 plus of r 3 means here this is made as 0 this column element 3 by 2 r2 that is minus 5 into 3 by 2 to be taken like this with this minus 5 and plus 6 that should be minus 3 into 5 minus 15 plus of 12 and divided by 2 it is minus 3 by 2 should be minus 3 by 2 this is uh, the calculation uh, which happens to r2 and r3 and here 7 that is 3 by 2 into 7 3 by 2 into 7 that is r2 plus r3 plus 10 that is 21 plus 20 2 is the LCM and uh, that is 41 so 41 divided by it is 2 let me check this once again 1 3 1 the coefficients of x and 1 1 4 next 1 minus 2 this is 7 minus 3 minus 2 and 7 <clears throat> so between these two rows minus 3 r1 plus r2 that is this much minus 3 r1 plus r2 that gives us 0 and uh, minus r1 plus r3 affecting on r3 so 0 and minus 3 this one it is minus 2 minus 3 it is minus 5 and minus 3 that is 9 minus 2 it is plus 7 1 that is 0 and 4 minus r1 uh, that should be 3 and minus r1 that is minus 1 that should be plus 6 and minus r1 that should be 3 plus 7 is 10 okay so the next operation here in uh, using this minus 2 as the pivotal element then we must uh, bring it uh, uh, to the form like uh, plus 3 uh, here and minus 3 here so 2 is to be cancelled then uh, this is minus 2 and this is made as 0 by uh, 3 by 2 into minus 5 okay so minus 15 and 2 that is 12 that is minus 3 by 2 this is minus 3 by 2 we are getting right and uh, 
minus 3 by 2 and between these two 7 and 10 that is minus 3 by 2 into 7 and plus of 3 by 2 into 7 plus of that is 10 and uh, uh, 10 twos are 20 7 threes are 21 that is 41 divided by 2 this implies a uh, rank of a is equal to 3 this is equal to row of a b this implies consistent because both the ranks are same consistency exists and implies a unique solution what is that unique solution you have to make a back substitution by back substitution you have to form the equations as x plus y plus z equal to 1 minus 2x minus 5y equal to 7 3 by 2 it is z is equal to 41 by 2 41 by 2 this is minus 3 by 2 z is equal to this much okay 2 gets cancelled implies z is equal to 41 with minus divided by 3 this is the value of z then by this equation <coughs> by this equation minus 2y and z that is minus 2y and z means that is uh, minus 2y in place of z you have to substitute this much minus 5 into minus 5 into 41 by 3 41 by 3 that is the value of z and that is equal to 7 therefore minus 2y is equal to 7 minus that becomes plus sign 5 and 20 that is divided by 3 therefore y is equal to minus 1 by 2 there should be 21 plus 205 and divided by 3 therefore this becomes 21 means uh, 2 it is 26 226 divided by 6 is there this is y 226 divided by 6 with the minus sign right and uh, uh, that can be simplified further by 2 minus of 1 1 3 divided by 3 <coughs> uh, that is 3 3 is a 9 and uh, 23 but that cannot be simplified further this is the value of y then x value x plus y plus z equal to 1 this implies x is equal to 1 minus 1 minus minus y 1 1 3 divided by 3 and uh, minus z z value is here minus 41 that becomes minus z means uh, plus 41 divided by 3 this becomes 3 is the lcm 3 minus 1 1 3 plus 41 and divided by 3 then x is equal to uh, that is minus 1 1 3 and plus of 44 so divided by 3 so x equal to uh, 9 and uh, 6 it is okay and 9 it is uh, 6 that's all that is uh, um, 69 with minus divided by 3 that should be 3 twos are 6 and 3 threes are 9 23 so x is equal to minus of 23 so this is the solution with the values of x y z according to the uh, elementary row operation method we have taken now another uh, problem i will take uh, with the same uh, type of uh, calculation but the problem is of different uh, variety
फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस सेवन जेड इज इक्वल टू फोर थ्री एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स वाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल टू नाइन सेवन एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस टेन जेड इक्वल टू फाइव फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस सेवन जेड इक्वल टू फोर थ्री एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स वाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल टू नाइन सेवन एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस टेन जेड इज इक्वल टू फाइव लेट अस वेरीफाई हाउ दिस सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू बी गिव द सोल्यूशन राइट नाउ मैट्रिक्स इक्वेशन ए एक्स इक्वल टू बी बी द मैट्रिक्स इक्वेशन then in matrix form we can write 5 3 7 it is 3 26 2 and 7 2 10 and x y z and this is equal to 4 9 and 5 now these two elements we have to make them as zero uh, with the help of this pivotal element this is anyway non zero number therefore r1 minus r1 minus so uh, it is 5 by the r1 is 5 minus 5 we must expect 5 by 3 r2 affecting on r2 next is r1 minus 7 by uh, sorry 5 by 7 r3 and affecting on r3 then write the remaining calculations according to the uh, elementary row operation multiplications we have chosen the simplification the first row remains to be same it is equivalent to 5 3 7 and x y z equal to that is 4 and this is 0 and the simplifications what i have i will write those uh, simplifications Minus one twenty one divided by three eleven by three, and here it is minus eleven. And with this second operation, we have eleven by seven in the second element of the last row, and minus one by seven, and this is three by seven. And now this becomes the pivotal element. and this has to be converted as zero uh, with the next uh, row is to be multiplied that is r2 and this is plus of 121 because already minus sign is there 121 by 3 into 7 by 11 r3 affecting on r3 otherwise if you simplify this r2 this gives Uh, plus of seventy seven by three, that is R three, because eleven eleven is R one twenty one. Eleven into seven is seventy seven, and three is there. Three is there. Now this matrix is equivalent to first two rows are same. For you three seven zero minus one twenty one. Minus one twenty one by three and eleven by three. This is zero and this is zero and here coincidentally this is also zero. X Y Z. That is four eleven with minus and <coughs> three by seven. Sorry. Here it is zero according to the calculation. <coughs> That is minus eleven R two into this much. That is minus eleven R two. Then three three cancels and this seven uh, by three by seven is there. And three by seven here uh, seven eleven zero. Here minus eleven and plus eleven that gives us zero. Therefore 
this is the coefficient matrix and uh, inserting that column to the coefficient matrix that becomes the augmented matrix. Here the rank of the coefficient matrix A is equal to 2 because completely this is 0 row and this is also 0 rank of augmented matrix that is also 2. What is your conclusion? According to the comparison of the ranks, <coughs> this is consistent, <coughs> consistent but, <coughs> but uh, the number of values means unknowns that is r equal to 2 that is rank is equal to 2 less than number of unknowns that is n equal to 3. <coughs> that implies that implies infinite number of solutions. Infinite number of solutions means what you have to write? You have to reconstruct the equations that is 5x plus 3y plus 7z is equal to 4 minus 121 by 3 plus 11 by 3 if this is y and this is z is equal to minus 11 and uh, 0 into z is equal to 0. This is what the situation we are going to come across when the coefficient uh, this has this has become 0. Okay. So, what is your conclusion here? This gives z equal to 0 divided by 0. We can choose this as k <coughs> where this k may be less than 0, k may be equal to 0 and k is greater than 0. So, only we claim that infinite number of solutions in that problem. Therefore, z is equal to k infinitely many solutions. You can write infinitely many solutions. infinitely many solutions we can choose. Okay, What happens then? When z is equal to k uh, here then you have to substitute in place of z. So, this second equation gives minus 121 by 3 y is equal to minus 11 and minus 11 by 3 into k this much. Then y is equal to y is equal to uh, this becomes minus sign. Of course, uh, you can write it as 11 by 3, 11 by 3 k and uh, minus sign throughout you can cancel, okay. And plus of 11 uh, that is whole thing is multiplied by y is equal to means 3 divided by 121 this much. Then you can cancel this is 3 by 11, you can bring it once again. Of course, uh, to the final form, 3, 3 cancels and 11, that is k by 11, one thing, and 11, that is plus of 3 divided by 11, this is the value of y. And substituting this in the equation, that is in the first equation, first equation which you have constructed, this one, then x takes the value here, this implies x takes the value. After substituting uh, y and z, <coughs> y and z that is equal to 7 by 11 x value and minus 16 divided by 11 k. So, this is the value of x, this is the value of y and this is the value of z, where all the three x, y and z are expressed in the form of k, where k may be negative, k may be positive and k may be 0. So, negative means so many values you can assign, positive means so many values you can assign. So, only we call it as infinitely many solutions. Like this, uh, the uh, problem uh, which we come across as uh, <coughs> infinitely many solutions. The next problem which I am going to consider as uh, uh, no solution, of course, let us verify that uh, for the uh, consistency verification by taking the ranks as no solution, 
that means rank of the coefficient matrix is not same as rank of the augmented matrix but before that another situation let us discuss uh, where uh, the parameters lambda and mu how these parameters are to be calculated so that problem i will uh, discuss first and then i'll go back to that another uh, situation okay here the next example is find the values find the values of lambda and mu for which the system for which the system x plus y plus z equal to 6 and x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 10 and x plus 2y plus lambda z is equal to mu is equal to mu has has <coughs> first question there are three questions attached to this a unique solution a unique solution second question infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions and third question uh, no solution this is one among the important situation where uh, this problem and next problem will be in terms of some parameter calculation let us see how these things are going to work same uh, the compulsory first step you have to write in the solution define ax equal to b the matrix equation the matrix equation <clears throat> according to this from the given equations 1 1 1 1 2 2 1 3 that is lambda and x y z and next is that is equal to 6 10 and mu this is your matrix equation but here in this uh, problem there is some special uh, observation these are not the uh, actual numbers these are the arbitrary values that is lambda and mu now you, your discussion completely depends on what value of lambda you are going to assign and what value of mu you are going to assign and how you are going to compare between these two and give three solutions that means three answers for these three questions as solutions one is unique solution when it exists infinitely for what behavior of lambda and mu exists and no solution for what situation it exists so these three we have to answer from this matrix equation anyway first part is compulsory that is row operation you have to apply let us see the row operation first this is anyway r1 this is r2 and this is r3 now to make these two elements a zero by the help of this first element therefore we will take this as a pivotal element therefore r1 minus r2 affecting on that is r2 and r1 minus r3 because all the three are one one no need of multiplying by any other number except minus sign and uh, this is going to affect on r3 that is r1 minus r2 affecting on r2 r1 minus r3 affecting on r3 then this becomes that is first row is same 1 1 1 and column matrix no changes that is x y z that is called uh, unknowns and 6 is there let us see what are the other two elements this is 0 r1 minus r2 this is minus 1 r1 minus r2 this is minus 2 r1 minus r2 this is minus 4 and r1 minus r3 <coughs> r1 minus r3 this is 0 r1 minus r3 this is minus 1 
R1 minus means 1 minus lambda, okay, and 6 minus lambda. This is step number 1. How these things are happening? Because by the row operations, we operate first row on the second, first row on the third. This is the possibility. Now, I have to make this element as 0 since this is a pivotal element. This I call it as PE. Therefore, the uh, row operation we will have to take that should be R2. Here second row was disturbed minus of this is R3 and effecting on R3. R2 minus of R3 effecting on R3. So that goes according to this step that goes uh, uh, here first row is same that is equivalent to 1 1 1 this is 0 minus 1 and minus 2 and this is 0 this is 0 right and uh, x y z should be here it is r2 minus r3 r2 means minus 2 minus 1 it is minus 3 plus lambda because r2 minus r3 means r2 is already minus 2 and r3 is 1 minus lambda with the minus minus 2 minus of this much is minus 1 makes us minus 3 and inside that makes us plus sign. Now equal to that should be 6 minus 4 here r2 minus r3 that becomes 10 minus 10 plus lambda. So this is the situation. Now the row operation is over. Now you have to uh, declare the answers for these three questions in the fashion that what value of lambda if you choose what is going to happen, what value of mu you are going to choose what is going to happen and what value of lambda and mu together you choose what is going to happen. So respectively uh, uh, solutions you have to answer for these questions. Okay. Now the first question to be answered like this. First question, what is the question? A unique solution. What is the requirement for the unique solution? Unique solution if, it, if in any matrix is going to be uh, possible, in that case uh, rank should be same, rank should be same from both uh, coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix and, and uh, the rank whatever you uh, calculate it is equal to the number of unknowns. Here now uh, this is minus 3 plus lambda is there. So answer to the first question. Now I will be giving A. This is the first question, right? Uh, for, for unique solution. Unique solution. Unique solution. We must have we must have <coughs> we must have minus 3 plus lambda is not equal to 0 and minus 10 plus lambda is not equal to 0 that means this is the unique solution uh, this clearly indicates r of a is equal to r of that means rho of a b this is equal to 3. Rank of the coefficient matrix is 3 and rank of the augmented matrix is 3. That means third row should not be containing all the elements as 0. This is not to be 0 and this is not to be 0. This is one answer. Now question number B. What is the question? Here infinitely many solutions. Then for infinitely infinitely many solutions we must have we must have infinitely many solutions we must have uh, that is minus 3 plus lambda equal to 0 and minus 10 plus mu this is not uh, lambda this is mu is there 6 minus 
this is r1 minus r3 6 minus mu sorry 6 minus mu here also mu right and uh, 10 minus mu minus 10 plus this much minus 10 plus mu is equal to 0 these two indicate rank of a is equal to rank of a b is equal to 2 if this is the case then consistent if this is the case then consistent and and r is less than n this clearly indicates infinitely infinitely many solutions so this is a very important thing that you have to uh, focus upon uh, the conditions first one unique solution second one infinitely many solutions what are the conditions when these parameters are appeared and the last question no solution no solution means that is uh, possible when ranks are not equal that's all c for no solution for no solution we must have we must have this value is equal to 0 minus 3 plus lambda equal to 0 and minus 10 plus mu is not equal to 0 this is the simple answer minus 10 plus mu is not equal to 0 this clearly indicates rho of a is equal to uh, that is equal to 0 means 2 and rho of a b is equal to 3 that is not equal to 0 that is equal to 3 then that implies inconsistent that implies inconsistent and no so no solution exists otherwise no solution so this is the meaning for all the three questions which are attached to that matrix now i shall take up another example how this uh, lambda parameter can be calculated uh, using the same type of elementary row operations so there uh, we calculate uh, uh, by using uh, elementary row operations by the by the proper simplification how that simplification goes we will verify and uh, by taking that in, in the form of quadratic equation we have to find out two values of lambda what are the values of lambda and uh, for which lambda which solution exists and which lambda second value which solution exists that is the uh, next uh, question that is the next problem i am going to choose quadratic equation construction in the row operations the next example this is also equally important uh, for a different uh, approach find the values of lambda find the values of lambda for which for which the system x plus y plus z equal to 1 comma x plus 2y plus 4z equal to lambda and x plus 4y plus 10z equal to lambda square has find the values of lambda for which for which the system has a solution for which the system has a solution solve the system in each possible case solve the system in each possible case
what is the type of solution you are going to expect here this is a very important uh, uh, situation that you are going to take up here <coughs> first equation is not containing lambda second equation containing lambda yes and third equation is containing lambda square then by elementary row operations uh, we do like this once again but in the last column this lambda will be uh, taken into consideration with the elementary row operation so because of the presence of second degree of lambda you will get quadratic equation so that quadratic equation will possess two roots that means two values that means the question is uh, solve the system in each possible case there are two possible cases are there because of second degree two values of lambda you are going to generate for first value of lambda what is the solution for second value of lambda what is the solution for both the system should be defined has a solution they said has a solution means what as a solution means ranks must be same that must be consistent and in each possible case means here is it is the special problem there are two possible numbers will exist then we will discuss both the possible cases in the solution let the usual step you write let ax equal to b be the matrix equation let ax equal to b be the matrix equation then in the matrix form you are going to write what is that first equation x plus y plus z 1 1 1 x y z and right side that is 1 and second equation 1 2 4 then right side lambda third equation 1 4 that is 10 and right side it is lambda square you don't do any uh, extra rearrangement you just go according to the uh, row operations just like that row operations you take that then during that in the uh, column that is on the right side of the matrix equation you will get second degree equation in terms of lambda that second degree equation in terms of lambda will give two different roots what kind of roots whether they are real roots or complex roots that we are going to estimate okay so now uh, this is uh, uh, called as pivotal element anyway it is non-zero number p then these two elements we must make them as zero okay so now i can take it as this one minus r1 plus r2 affecting on r2 minus r1 plus r3 affecting on r3 so this is the first observation or maybe one choice another choice also you can take r1 minus r2 r1 minus r3 r1 minus r2 affecting on r2 r1 minus r3 affecting on r3 then we can expect uh, these two column elements as 0 0 then so after taking that uh, simplification we will expect the next matrix which is equivalent to which is equivalent to here first row remains to be same 1 1 1 x y z and this is equal to that is 1 next is 0 next is 0 uh, that is minus r1 we said minus r1 plus r2 this is 1 minus r1 plus 4 yeah minus r1 plus 4 uh, that becomes minus 1 plus 4 3 and minus r1 plus r2 that is 3 then minus r1 plus r3 that is 9 okay uh, minus 1 plus 10 that is 9 and next minus r1 plus r2 that is minus 1 plus lambda next is minus 1 plus lambda square so this is uh, the uh, step of operation maybe in the step number one now in the step number two uh, this happens to be 
converted as 0 and this will be taken as pi volatile element. This is PE, pi volatile element. So, make use of this one and make this element as 0. The, uh, with what condition? Previous row should be disturbed, but next row should not be disturbed. Okay. So, what I have to do is minus 3 I have to multiply to the previous row R2 and plus R3 affecting on this should be on R3. This is the second step of elementary row operation we are going to consider. So, uh, what is the uh, effect of elementary row operation simplification that you check uh, through the simplification, right? That is equivalent to first two rows will remain same 1 1 1 3 and x y z and this is equal to 1 minus 1 plus lambda and 0 0 minus 3 r 1 plus this much uh, that is uh, minus 3 r 1 that is okay uh, minus 3 means minus 3 into 3 that is 9 and plus 9 this is 0 okay and uh, <coughs> minus 3 into plus 3 that is minus 9 simply adding to this one becomes 0 now this one minus 3 r2 so minus 3 with uh, minus 1 makes us plus sign and minus 3 lambda and plus sign okay plus r3 plus 1 becomes minus 1 and plus of lambda square this much. So, then uh, 3 minus 1 2 that is 2 minus 3 lambda and plus of lambda square. So, this is the equation. So, last equation you have and uh, I would like to stop up to here then I shall continue this discussion in my uh, next uh, lecture because what are the values of lambda you have to calculate there will be two values because of the second degree then for each value the corresponding solution exists thank you